The beautiful city of Asheville, North Carolina is often recognized by its magnificent Biltmore State and the equally magnificent fall colors. The wonderful people of Asheville enjoy the uniqueness of its downtown, its buildings, studios, galleries, and restaurants, as well as a thriving economy. In the middle of it sits our mission. What happens here isn't always representative of what you see in Asheville's attractive city streets, but it reveals the heart of our community and represents a very important segment of its people. For 26 years, Western Carolina Rescue Ministries has worked to provide the basic necessities of life, food, shelter, clothing, and loving relationships that change the lives of the poor, homeless, and needy. Every day, 225 Patton Avenue is a home for nearly 100 amazing men, women, and children who come through our doors for the things we all need to live a dignified life. And while it's not a permanent home, it's the only place that keeps them off the streets, out of danger, and gives them hope that one day soon, with the help of committed friends, they can work toward having a place that's their own. It's not hard to see that the people we serve are grateful to have a hot meal and a place to sleep inside, but each day the staff and those we serve are faced with the challenges that are presented by a 90-year-old, undersized, dilapidated building. The capacity of our facility causes us to make gut-wrenching decisions. Men and women are often turned away due to its size and the necessity to comply with fire and safety regulations. By pushing the pews aside in our chapel and laying down mattresses, we're able to create another 30 beds for men who would otherwise endure the danger of hypothermic weather. Currently, there's no extra room for women and children. Busted and leaky pipes drip on top of the men in our emergency shelter, and the floors have begun to rot, to the point that the leg of a bunk bed busted through the floor when a heavy set man made his bed for the evening. It's a problem that also plagues the kitchen. As the subfloor and the joists continue to rot, mold grows and insects visit more frequently from the basement. Continuing with this requires continual maintenance. Years ago, this building was a transmission shop. As we've grown, we've taken over the old warehouse spaces and converted them for living and learning. The old siding is broken and filled with holes that make the building expensive to heat and cool. The draftiest of our rooms is the laundry room, where washing the linens of 43 beds each day proves a full-time job for some of our residents. Thankfully, a drafty room provides the ventilation needed to operate gas-fired appliances. It's really cold to work in there, but it's safe. The industrial dryer we have is on its last leg, and the regular dryer we use is just too small to proficiently wash so much laundry. Our staff and the people living with us have worked hard to keep our building dry. Time and time again we've crawled up through the ceiling to add another patch to our flat tar roof in the hopes that we can give an undisturbed night of sleep keep the building from further structural damage and reduce the issues that come with mold. For some of our staff who live on the grounds, spontaneous rearrangement of furniture has become a way of life, and administrative offices utilize buckets as an everyday office instrument. We spend a lot of time laughing it off, but these leaks make it difficult to improve our space, and it takes time away that we'd rather be using meeting the needs of the people we serve. We look forward to a day when constant maintenance, and inefficient energy costs no longer take valuable money away from programs that provide groceries, beds, and recovery programming. That's why we're currently in a campaign to build newer, larger, energy-efficient dwellings that will accommodate Asheville's needs and prevent avoidable expenditures. Despite these obstacles, we're filled with hope and excitement about offering men, women, and children the kind of opportunity that respects them as people and changes the course of their lives.